Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Tuesday, October 23rd, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Big Data Week kicked off Sunday in Las Vegas for the IBM IOD event, and Strata Hadoop starts today in New York City. Chief Wikibon analyst Dave Vellante is joining us now to give us his breaking analysis on action from the IBM Information On Demand event and a preview of Strata. Welcome, Dave. Hi, Kristen. So, Dave, talk to us about IBM's big software event. What's happening there? What's the action at the show like? So the event is called IOD, stands for Information on Demand. Now, Kristen, historically, this is IBM's big software conference and uh, really came to fruition as a result of a number of activities, IBM's core DB2 business, a number of acquisitions that it made, companies like Cognos and Informix and, and many others. And Essentially, what IBM is doing is rebranding this show around big data. And so one of the most famous taglines in the computer industry's history is called Think. It's uh, Thomas Watson, Watson's tagline for IBM, you know, decades ago. And IBM is really trying to rebrand this conference as Think Big. And of course, that's a reference to big data and there's a lot of energy here. About 12 to 14,000 people here, a lot of customers, a lot of partners and great energy. Oracle is IBM's biggest software competitor. How is it positioning in relation to Oracle? It's interesting. It's almost like IBM and Oracle have swapped places. You know, IBM used to be the monopolist, used to be the one really having customers completely locked into its mainframe. And while IBM still has a lot of customers locked into its mainframe business, it's got such a much more robust uh, business outside of the mainframe. And so, really, IBM is, is a new IBM. It's energized. It's, it's much more humble than it, than it was in the, in the old days. And it's, I think, recognizing the importance of working with the ecosystem and really expanding its base. So IBM's big strategy is really around analytics. It's uh, acquired a number of companies there. Its whole Smarter Planet um, initiative and branding is really about instrumenting industries and bringing its analytics mojo from a software business to the industry. So I think that really they're very similar in that they are the leaders in software, but they've almost swapped places uh, historically. At Oracle Open World, Larry Ellison talked about Oracle 12 being the first multi-tenant database. What's IBM's response? Well, it's classic, right? The classic Larry, you know, basically come to market late and then act like you invented it. And of course IBM's response is, well, we have DB2 and it's been a multi-tenant database. You know, since you know, I can remember. And so, really, Oracle's not the first. Having said that, Oracle really has done a great job of attacking DB2 outside of IBM's mainframe base uh, and does very well within the, the Linux world, the open systems world. And really, Oracle is the standard database for that environment. Uh, you know, DB2 is not a high growth area, but at the same time, it's, it really is a gold standard of database quality uh, for transactional systems. And so IBM's response is, is, hey, we were here first. The, you know, that's the sort of normal competitive posturing that you'd see from companies like Oracle and IBM. What do you feel is IBM's big data play? I mean, the underpinning of IBM's big data play really is a number of acquisitions that the company has made. Uh, uh, for example, Cognos, uh, a BI company. Uh, it, it's recently require, acquired a company called Vivissimo, which is like Indeca, the company that Oracle required, sort of, but it's more, more focused on unstructured data and bringing together disparate data sources. Uh, a company, Nitiza, that IBM acquired uh, quite some time back in the data warehousing business. Uh, SPSS, which is the standard for people in statistical analysis. And so IBM has pulled together through acquisition and its own you know, organic businesses a really powerful portfolio under the direction of uh, the software head of IBM, Steve Mills. The other thing is IBM has been big historically in open source. And that came about, Kristen, because IBM was trying to neutralize Microsoft's uh, advantage in the marketplace. Many of our uh, listeners will remember the old OS2 days when IBM basically had a PC operating system called OS2 and, of course, Windows creamed it. Well, IBM, Steve Mills really made a decision, hey, we're not going to win that battle. We're going to double down on open source. As a result, IBM has a very strong uh, position and portfolio in Hadoop. It, it embraces Hadoop. It really participates in that community. So its strategy really is to do the typical IBM. Big portfolio, uh, a, a lot of rich capabilities, and of course, 
great services. What about Strata? The big data world's gathering in NYC this week. What's that going to be like? Strata will be quite a bit different than this show. This is really a, a button-down show, a lot of IBM business partners, a lot of suits here. Strata is alpha geeks and startups, and there will be some business there. Increasingly, you know, business people will, will, will attend this type of event, but it really is an open source, free flow of information. You know, a lot of hackers, uh, a lot of data scientists, really, you know, great buzz. Much smaller show. It'll probably only be a couple thousand people. And, of course, remember, Strata is uh, also Hadoop World. Cloudera essentially, you know, partnered with O'Reilly to give Hadoop World to O'Reilly and merge it with Strata. So there's going to be a, a lot of focus on, on Hadoop. What do you expect to be some of the larger themes at the event in NYC? Well, first of all, I think you're going to see a lot around just vertical market use cases for big data within things like healthcare and financial services and government. You're going to hear a lot about that, and certainly you'll hear a lot about the, the web-based use cases, and you, you do every year. There's also going to be a lot of themes around data science. Uh, there'll be a lot of data scientists there. Uh, we actually have the Cube there. We'll have a number of folks on that are in the data science community. I think increasingly you're going to hear more about geospatial, the ability to essentially take data from the movement of maybe people or machines or uh, vehicles, you know, logistics and things of that nature that are going to have the ability to provide analytics on those, those data points so that we can really solve some of the real challenges we face you know, in logistics and other you know, things like supply chain. So you're going to see some, you know, real emphasis on that. You're also going to hear a lot about platforms. Um, and we could talk about this more, but I mean, essentially you're seeing a big platform war emerging uh, in between the applications and Hadoop, uh, Apache Hadoop, HDFS, and other alternatives. Where are we seeing mainstream businesses with respect to big data? Well, I think uh, mainstream businesses have certainly become aware of of, of big data, people talk about it's in the hype cycle. I, you know, yes, sure, it's hype, but people are, you know, fundamentally really trying to figure out how how to bring together disparate data sources, both st structured and unstructured data, and monetize it and package it and offer services around that. Be a data-driven company. Uh, really, organizations and businesses are trying to instrument their business and use data to try to gain competitive advantage. And we certainly believe that data really is the, the new source of competitive advantage. So you're seeing mainstream businesses go from experimental sandbox to having actual real production activities in big data. Finally, you mentioned competitive advantage. What's the competitive landscape look like? Are there any interesting battles going on? There is. One of the areas I didn't talk about is visualization. You're going to see a spate of announcements uh, this week at Strata. Around visualization, a lot of the companies are going to be integrating with a company called Tableau. You're going to see some competitors to Tableau. Tableau is sort of, again, the, the first to market for over advantage and visualization, but you're going to see some alternatives there. Uh, you're also, as I said, seeing a real platform war. So it used to just be Cloudera. It was a one-horse race. Then Hortonworks jumped in. And then certainly MapR, the funding, and did well in the marketplace and, 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 and got some good action going. Uh, you're also seeing uh, companies like Hadapt come into the mix. Now, Hadapt is essentially trying to unify uh, a SQL and NoSQL uh, under a single platform, and it will attack the legacy companies that are trying to, to connect to NoSQL and HBase and, or, or, or rather uh, uh, Hadoop through connectors. So Hadapt's trying to do that in native uh, approaches. Other companies will respond and say, well, we can do that too. So you're going to hear a lot of you know, mudslinging around that space. There's also a lot going on in the NoSQL space. Uh, the industry's you know, platform, standard platform, tends to be HBase, but others will point to the fact that HBase uh, doesn't scale as well, it maybe isn't as robust, it maybe doesn't have as high performance. You're going to hear from companies like Squirrel or talk about the Accumulo project, which is a big table mimic, big table being Google's database, focusing on security. So you're seeing a lot of action in the middle. Hadoop, the Apache Hadoop layer, pretty solid. You know, there's some debates about, you know, Hortonworks and Cloudera, but essentially it's a Apache Hadoop. Uh, you know, MapR's got some innovations there. And then the application guys on top, it's all the action competitively, Kristen, is in the middle.
Well, Dave, thanks so much for taking the time this morning. We appreciate you joining us. Hey, thanks for having me on. We'll see you next time. For all the latest coverage and breaking analysis on Big Data Week, tune into News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.